Hello children and welcome to another exciting episode of Science and You. I know that recently you've been subjected to horrible and horrific pictures from the Iraq war. So today we're going to talk about the nitrogen cycle. Let me have my cute little helpers introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Benjamin and I'm eight years old. My goodness, where's Bubba, boys? Bubba's over there. He doesn't have many friends. He's kind of a loser. Oh, well, that's not a very nice thing to say, although quite accurate. Well, boys, let's retire to the magical world of nitrogen. Won't it be fun? I said, won't it be fun? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> well, let's go. Hello, children, and welcome back to the wonderful world of nitrogen. Nitrogen is a very, very complex idea, and I don't think your tiny little minds would wrap around the concept, so I have found a very simplified picture of the nitrogen cycle. Mr. Cameraman, could you zoom in on this for me? Now we have to begin somewhere on the nitrogen cycle, so let's start by talking about decomposition. Well, there's a problem. I don't see any decomposing matter around here. Do you? No. Well, I have an idea. Bobby's sitting over there like the loser that he is. We could possibly just kill Bobby, and that helps so that he doesn't have to grow up to be a lonely man We'll have our decomposing matter. Benjamin, why don't you go kill Bubba? But I don't want to kill Bubba. I said do it, you little bastard. You don't want those pictures circulating, do you? No, no. Wonderful. It looks like we've solved our problem. We'll be back with decomposing matter. I'm going to describe to you what happens to decomposing matter. After Bubba rots, he goes to ammonium. Then, other bacteria eat Bubba and turn his ammonium remains into nitrate. After he turns into nitrate, plants can then eat Bubba, while other plants can just take up his ammonium remains as well. Some plants eat Bubba from the ammonium, some eat him from the, from the form of nitrate. Sometimes Bubba is converted by gentrifying bacteria into N2, or just plain nitrogen in the atmosphere. Oh my gosh, Bubba's rising from the dead! I'm not rising from the dead. I've been chewed up and shit out by the entire nitrogen cycle. I'm now rising into the atmosphere as the form of N2, or the gaseous phase of nitrogen. Well, I will accumulate with other N2 molecules and cause global warming and acid rain and rain down on those who killed me. But right now, some of me is going to be reabsorbed back into the ground by nitrogen-fixing bacteria, and then I'm going to be converted into ammonia, and then back into ammonium to be chit up and shit out by the rest of the cycle all over again. And nitrogen is also caused by the overburning okay, of fossil dust. boys and girls, and that will be enough from Bubba. He won't be joining us again, so everyone say goodbye to Bubba. Bye, Bubba. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Science and You. Ta-ta.